Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to apply bronzer. I'm just getting ready to head out myself um, to head to the salon for the day and I thought I would show you how to apply bronzer because a lot of clients often have questions about that and really aren't sure if you're supposed to put it all over your face or if you're supposed to put it only in certain areas. So I thought while I'm getting ready myself, I could just show you what I personally do and what I recommend also. So um, I always put on my full face first, so all my eye makeup, um, foundation, powder, everything else. Bronzer is something I always put on last because I feel that oftentimes if you haven't got the rest of your face on, people try and overcompensate and go a little bit dark because they feel that the rest of them looks pale. And I think that a lot of that is solved when you have the rest of your day face on, so to speak. So bronzer is a thing that I go to last. You certainly don't have to do that. That's just what I recommend when you're starting out, just so you can find the balance of what works for you <clears throat> and so on. The only thing that I don't put on um, before the bronzer is my blush. I put that on absolutely last, just so I can see where I've contoured my face and so on. Uh, so what I use is Max bronzer. That's what I prefer to use myself. I use the shade golden, which I talked about in one of my uh, product videos. I showed you that I was uh, using that. I can't open it and show it because unfortunately I dropped it on the ground and it crumbled into a million little pieces. So if I open it, I don't know if you guys can see that it's terrible. Um, so I have to be a little bit careful with it. Um, so to start off with bronzer, the whole point of using it is to highlight your face and the overall goal is to make you look like you've kind of got that sun-kissed look. So you've just spent the day out in the sun, you've got a nice glow, but you don't want to go overkill. So bronzer is certainly not something that you apply and put all over your face. Um, you're not trying to make your face go a completely different shade. You certainly can do that, but you have to be careful because you don't want your neck and the rest of your body to have a different tone and shade than your face because it just looks it looks off and then it doesn't look uh, natural as a result. So what I always recommend is just highlighting and contouring your face just to give you a little bit of a glow and kind of leave it at that. So the key with bronzer is less is more. You always want to apply it in small doses and continue that way because unfortunately if you put too much on you can't really take it off unless you're going to layer with a lot of powder afterwards which isn't necessarily the best thing because over time it will look like you've caked something on your face which is not how you want to go throughout the day. So what I do is I take a big brush like this. This is one I use. This is by Sigma. It's their large powder brush F30. Um, so that's the, what I use and again you can see the lining on the brush there. And I just dip a little bit of the bronzer into the brush so I haven't got too too much there. And where, what you do is you want to hit the um, all your bone structure in your face. So where I always start is right on the temple here. Um, and actually what I'm gonna do is put my hair out of the way so I haven't got it in the way. So I'll put that back there, so that's a very sexy look. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put it on my temple here and kind of go back and forth. I'm gonna get this in my hair a bit. Um, but what you wanna do is kind of get some shading in this area and can sort of scrub it in. And I'm gonna bring it down and go across my cheekbones. So it's almost like you're making a bit of a C like this. Um, and again, it'll just highlight your face a, that little bit. And as you go, you can just make it darker. And you'll see that your bone structure will start to come out a little bit more. And again, you'll have a little bit of a glow. Um, now, you'll see that my hair, I'm kind of making a mess of it. it, sort of gets involved. And that is because you want to make sure that you're brushing it into your hairline. So you don't want it to look like you've got a start and stopping point for the coloring on your face. So. I mean, again, you want your makeup to look as natural as possible. So again, I'm just doing it in small doses. But you can see that this side's already starting to look a little bit more bronze than the other. Because let's face it, I'm quite pale. So again, I'm just doing that sort of C. And I'm still pulling it into this area as well. But you can see that I've got starting to get some of that contour there. <clears throat> and I mean, if you feel more comfortable with it and you know how dark you want to go or you're familiar with using bronzer, Obviously, you don't have to put it on in small doses. Um, I normally go a little bit heavier than this, but for the sake of showing you guys, I wanted to do it one step at a time, so I'm not going too, too dark, and I can show you what I mean. So as you continue to apply it, you see that your face is becoming darker and so on, which is sort of the goal. And um, so you can see that I've got it done on that side. So you can see that my cheeks are starting to contour a little bit more, and I've got a little bit of a glow. And I'm sorry, the I've got a window on this side, so it's a little bit... Right, but I'm going to do the same on the other side. So again, you want to start on your temple area here, and you're almost doing that sort of 
see on the side of your face. Um, now this is what works for my face. Again, it'll be the same thing for you guys, but just watch your bone structure and how far you bring it down. Make sure you're not bringing the, the bronzer down on your cheek here, because again, the whole point is to contour and highlight those areas that the sun would kiss first if you're actually outside. So just be wary of that. And when you're coming down with bronzer, you only wanna come down just before the apple of your cheek, because that's where your blush would go. Um, so you don't wanna to go too dark in that area. Um, because you'll put a little bit of color there with your blush. But you can see I'm starting to get that bronzy look already. So I'm getting to a point where you don't really want to put on too, too much more uh, because otherwise I will start to look like Snooki and become that Oompa Loompa-esque gal, which is not what I'm going for. Now, once you finish this part of your face, um, it's kind of preference from here on in. What I like to do is take a teeny, teeny bit on my brush, so something like that, so I've really got a small dose, and just quickly go like this on my chin and my nose because the sun will hit that area too. Um, so I'm not getting in this area of my face. I'm not getting on my cheek here. So you want to be careful of that because the sun wouldn't really get to it first. Because again, it's all about highlighting. And then once you're done that, I'm again going to put a bit of it on the small portion or small portion, sorry, on the brush. And what you want to do is put it on your neckline area here, sort of by your jaw. And what it'll do is it'll contour your jaw a little bit. But you want to make sure you get it up behind the ear and you can also brush down a little bit because again you want it to look like it's blending into your skin tone. And you don't want to go overkill because if you go too dark it'll look like you just haven't taken a shower that day so just be careful of that. Um, you just want it to be light enough that um, Again, you're getting some contouring, and again, you're going in behind the ear because you want it to look natural. And you can even take some of the bronzer, put it on the ear if you want, just so again, it looks like it blends in. But you're just going back and forth on your chin, and you can bring it down just a teeny bit, again, just for the blending purposes of it. And I think, for the most part, that is it, my friends. So this is as dark as I'm going to go, um, because again, I'm, I'm kind of going out for the day, so I don't want to go too, too dark. So that's it for me, um, as far as bronzer is concerned. Again, other people do it differently. I've seen some bring it all the way down your neck. I don't recommend that because, again, you're not trying to change your coloring. Um, if you're doing just a natural look, you want to, again, just highlight your bone structure and accent, or give yourself just a little bit more color, golden coloring for the day. Um, now, when I'm done this, what I do is put on my blush next. So this is the, my blush, and I use Max um, Sun Bask, and it's one. It's part of their Sheer Tone Shimmer. It's a shimmer blush. Um, so all I do with this once I'm all finished up, and again, you can see I've got more coloring already. Um, now with blush, again, less is always more to start off with. But what you want to do is, if you were to dissect your eye in half and sort of draw a line, you would start your blush sort of halfway through your eye. So that's where I'm going to have my blush, and then kind of brush it downward and up into my hairline. And all it does is it just finishes off your coloring, adds a little bit of color to your cheek. And again, you could go darker if you prefer, but I think for just an everyday face, you want to be careful how dark you go. Um, yeah. So, that's it for me. This is everything all finished up. So again, you can see that I've got the bronzer along here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the lighting. So it's giving me that bit of contour on my face. Um, the rest of my skin looks the same color, which is the goal you're going for. Uh, you don't want to look like you've gone a different shade altogether. <laughs> um, unless, of course, that's what you're striving for. But I don't think on a day-to-day, -day, in my opinion anyway, that's what you should be doing. Um, but anyway, so that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions and stay tuned for more style tips.